All right, man, here we go. Challenge number four. I'm going to keep this one short and sweet. You just heard from the truth how important sleep is. Just to recap it a little bit, you already know that when you sleep, especially during REM sleep, that is when testosterone is synthesized by the latex cells of your testes. So sleeping and especially getting as much REM sleep as possible is super important for your testosterone production. But that's not all. Sleep is also important for memory consolidation. So we have found that when you have short-term memory, things you learn day to day, something you learn for your test, uh, you know, an exam that you're gonna have or some person you meet or something you memorize or something you experience during the day, during sleep, those short-term memories consolidate into long-term memories. And the hippocampus is a part of the brain that is responsible uh, one of the areas in the brain that is largely responsible for consolidating that short-term memory into long-term memory. Sleeping is also important for stress reduction. Obviously, a lot of us are stressed during the day with our work schedule, our school schedule, our relationships, taking care of ourselves, and sleep will help you take down that stress a little bit. Another thing to recap is that if you don't sleep enough, if you don't sleep consistently, then your hunger hormones, your satiety hormones, these are your ghrelin and leptin. Ghrelin is the hormone that tells you that you are hungry and leptin is the hormone that tells you that you are now satisfied and you are satiated with the food you just ate. And if you don't sleep consistently and if you don't sleep enough and you don't get that REM sleep, then your leptin ghrelin levels will also be disbalanced and then you will be more hungry and that is why we see that people who are deprived of sleep are also obese because they eat more so for those of you who are fasting we're going to get to the fasting part uh, very soon the fasting challenge uh, sleeping well really helps with fasting because you don't get hungry that often and sometimes if you are getting hungry then taking a nap is a very good idea during that fast so this is a little recap of why sleep is important. And as you know, I could go on and on. And you already know the importance of sleep, but the important question is, are you actually getting enough of it? And is your sleep quality high enough? Are you getting the rest that you need night to night? And let me tell you, man, <laughs> when I was in Vegas a few years ago, you know, three, three and a half, four years ago now, my sleep quality was horrendous. It was so bad. Um, you know, my testosterone levels were that of an 82-year-old man, as you know. And the way that I figured out how to have better sleep is, you know, I tried everything. You know, the blackout curtains, the, you know, switching my phone off two hours before I go to sleep, having a, more, uh, having a nighttime routine, which involves meditation and, uh, uh, doing something that is without technology, reading something or, or, or doing something that is ca taking care of myself, you know, doing some kind of self-care routine. You know, I tried all that stuff. I did certain exercises. You know, one exercise I just posted as challenge five for the Aphrodite Academy is an exercise I used to do and I still do every night for increasing morning wood and increasing uh, my libido and my blood flow into the sex muscles. And I'm gonna get to that in a future challenge when we talk about sex exercises for uh, improving your libido and erections. But, uh, you know, I tried everything, man. My, I had a sleep mask that I got from this company, iEcho.com, which I paid like $100 for. You know, I was wearing that to block off any moisture that could get into my, any, any kind of uh, wind drift that can get into my eyes to so keep my eyes moisturized. You know, I tried everything and, and a lot of those things worked and that is why I told you in uh, the sleeping tips in this truth video what worked for me and hopefully that is gonna work for you as well. And now it's your turn. Tell me, tell us in the Facebook group, are you getting enough sleep? How is your quality of sleep? Are you sleeping well day to day? How do you wake up? Do you wake up groggy or do you wake up energized? And what are you doing to get your sleep even better? What actions are you performing? Tell us that in the Facebook group by recording a video. And if you have any tips that I didn't mention in the truth video and I did not mention here, please share those in the Facebook group. Remember man, we are all brothers in arms. We are one family. So any tips that have worked for you, any 
exercises or any strategies to sleep better that has worked for you, please share those in our Facebook group. All right, man, it's go time. It is now finally your turn to go complete your mission. Go to the Facebook group, record a video explaining what I just said and make sure in the caption and the description of that video you put hashtag challenge four and that is how I will be able to access it. And just to make it easy, I have put the link to the Facebook group right here down below. So just click on that link, go to the Facebook group, post your video, let us know and I will see you tomorrow.